What we offer here is people the chance, give people the chance to kind of experience life off grid and and a life where there's sort of less impact on resources, where they can get much more just out of nature and being and appreciating and absorbing what's around them. Um, and our needs are probably a bit less than most people, even though we still have got technology, because you know we need it to survive. Like our guests, people that come to experience what we offer, they largely come to get away from all the technology. So, uh, although we we use the te like we embrace the technology to a degree, um, and mix the old with the new a bit with it, when people come come for a holiday with us or come to experience what we offer, they're coming. You know, that's completely off grid. That's completely switch everything off. We've yeah, been yeah, living like I mean, this for for, for, for 20, ten 20. ten years. I've been well. I've, yeah, I've been I've been living off grid for twenty five years. We're, the way we the way we're living now is is it's more very advanced. on grid. It was more advanced than or you know in terms of <laughs> we've got we've got solar panels and and uh, and and a, and a cabin and stuff rather than living in tents or wagons or, or that sort of thing. The accepting there's a climate crisis going on. I'm hoping that it's going to change a bit uh, the general consciousness about about how people are. We always uh, hope that more people like will decide to do what we've done, and that popping yeah. up all over the countryside, you could have really nice, self-sufficient little dwellings and homes. People doing interesting things, people doing creative things, people carrying on with their lives and their jobs. You know, but but living in a low-impact way.